Howdy coaches. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to get registered within the CCN platform for your team. So the first thing is going to be to make sure that if you are a returning active coach, meaning that you held certifications and paid your fee last season, that you have claimed your profile. If you are one of those people, you should have received an email that looks just like this. It contains a URL that allows you to reset the password on your account. Make sure you use this if you're a returning active coach, because if you do not, your certifications will not be brought over and an account merge will be necessary. Next, and this will be where you start if you're brand new and have never coached with the SoCal League before or did not hold a license last season. You're going to go to the SoCal League webpage and click register. From there, you'll be taken to the landing page for registration. You are a coach, so you're going to select a team from the drop down menu. I'm going to try and register for Newberry Park today. You'll hit register. And that will take you to the team landing page for your team. Each one of these pages is unique, so it's good to bookmark this URL as in future seasons, you'll be able to come directly back to this page instead of going through the process that I just did to find it. You'll hit join team, or in this case, MP has changed it to be join NP. You'll enter the passcode for your team. The passcode is unique to each team and must be obtained from your team director. Once you've got the password entered, you'll click continue. Now, if you're a brand new coach and you're not logged into an account, you're going to need to set up a registration account with CCN in order to continue registering. So you would click create account. If you're a returning coach and you've already claimed your profile, if you are logged in, you'll be pushed through to the next step of registration automatically. If you are not logged in and you've already claimed your profile, you can enter it here. So for today, let's pretend that I don't have an account. I'll click create account. It'll ask me my basic information. So I am Brandon LaRue. My email is, there you go. And I'll enter a password. And then when I'm finished, I'll accept the terms and I will click sign up. So whether I was a returning coach or now I am a coach that has a profile that is new, I'm going to arrive at a page that looks like this. If you're a returning coach, all of your data will already be brought over. You won't be prompted to enter your birth date on this page. If you're a brand new coach, you will. So. I'm Brandon LaRue. I don't have anyone in my dropdown. Some of you returning coaches are going to see student athletes here as well. That's because you have a parent account. You can register for yourself and then come back and register for your kids if you would like. For today, we're talking about coach registration. So I'm going to make sure that I'm selected on myself and I will enter my information. And then I will click register. After I click register, it's going to ask me for a little bit more information. Again, if you are already brought over from the previous season as a returning active coach, you won't have to enter your address information. It will automatically appear for you. So I'll go ahead and enter my information. And then once I've entered it all, I'll click next. So all coaches are going to see this next step. You're going to be asked what category you want to assign for. Everyone is going to register for the SoCal High School Cycling League. You'll click add to registration. When you click add to registration, you're going to proceed to the next step. You're going to be asked for a lot of different information and you must input all of it. So you can pick on the first drop down what you would like to be on the team. You're either the team director, the head coach, or you're just a coach on the team. I'm just going to be a coach on the team. 
my profession. I am the executive director or whatever your profession is. Uh, then you'll select uh, from the rest of these drop downs and I'll just quickly go through and get these done. When you have finished with this page, you'll click next. And then after that, the button will change and you'll be able to hit complete and return to registration. So now I've completed the data collection process of my coach registration, but I'm not done yet. I need to hit complete and proceed to cart. And this is the stage at which if you have student athletes, you can add another participant if you would like. So by clicking complete and add another participant, I can go back and add other student athletes that I want to register at the same time. Or if I'm done registering as a coach, I can hit complete and proceed to cart. One more time, I'll proceed to cart. And this is where you'll have to fill out your waivers. So I am Brandon LaRue. I'm going to say yes. And I'm going to read through the waiver here and enter my name at the bottom. I'll click I agree to the above. And then I'll get my adult code of conduct. I'll do the same thing there. And agree to the above. And then I'll get my waiver and release of liability as a coach. Enter my name and agree to above. If you have student athletes, you'll have to go through that process for each one of the student athletes. And then finally, you'll be taken to the cart. Now, if you have student athletes and you want to register for races, make sure to click register for races here and then after you finish doing that you'll be taken back to this cart you'll notice that for me i'm just registering as a coach today there is no coach fee any longer in your cart you're going to have two separate entries one for each level of coach don't worry about that you're going to get your coach certification later on it's just making it available for you to obtain either one of those certifications at the time of your registration so you don't have to enter any of this billing data here. You can just hit same as billing address. And then you're going to hit submit and complete over here. So it'll take just a minute and then you'll get a transaction successful. At this point at which you see this registration confirmation, you have registered as a coach. A good way to check and make sure that you completed your registration is to go to your profile. So at the top right, you're going to see your name and you'll see a drop down if you hover over it and you can choose my profile. Inside your profile, if you've set it up properly, you will now see the option to submit for coaching requirements to log into Canvas. You'll see the registration for your team. I'm on the Newberry Park team as a coach. You can see it right here. And then if you click on memberships and licenses, you'll see the options for the two levels of coach licensure, assistant coach and coach. And you can click on action needed to see what things that you need to complete. So I just signed up as a brand new coach. I have to complete everything. Uh, how to complete those things. You can click on how to complete right to the right of them and it'll show you how to do that. And that's it, coaches. That's all you need to do to get set up as a coach with the SoCal League this season. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me at brandon at socaluthcycling.org. Good luck.